Cause your man called last night. He want me to give you a few tips. I don't usually do this, but he and I go way back, so I told him I see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my gosh! Ah! It is going up. Oh my gosh! 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 Oh my
Miss Elizabeth Lopez, and the first time I experienced hair loss was during my sophomore year 10 years ago. Um, I just randomly started pulling my hair out, you know, just from stress and anxiety. My family was going through divorce at the time, so it was just something totally that just came out of nowhere. My name is Kimberly, and I experienced hair loss, I believe, four years ago, back in 2018. Um, I actually have alopecia and it all started with a bald spot and it just started spreading as the years passed by. Um, it started getting harder in the beginning, you know, it's, it was just little patches, but throughout the years it just, again, started spreading really bad. So it's an emotional roller coaster. Some days it's, I'm okay with it, some days I'm not. My name is Denitra Best, I go by D Best. I've been cutting hair for 11 years now, and this is so exciting to be here, part of this event um, with Mr. Earl. I'm going to make him look so good today. Yeah. It was wonderful. Everyone was so nice. They made me feel like a beauty queen from the time I sat in the chair. Okay, bottom popper. <laughs> when I really didn't look like a beauty queen, but um, everyone here was just awesome. Funny how they coming around, I can friendly at the wood, works like they be down. Uh, yeah, I'm stuntin' cause I'm wearing a crown, now that I'm stacking my chips, they wanna call me now. But I'm like, you ain't touching us, baby, baby. You ain't touching us, baby, baby. You ain't touching us, baby. Like Jenna J said, why you done for me? Hop up on the beat, they go crazy, crazy. My first initial thought was I was very excited because I knew that there was gonna be progress, there was gonna be some help. But I had no idea I was going to end up here at, I believe it's Hair Queen LA. And the staff here is just wonderful. But just, it was a confidence booster for me, you know, because everyone knows the relationship between black women and their hair and experiencing hair loss and just not really knowing you know about it or the you know ins and out of what's gonna happen so i cried i ain't gonna lie i did cry i was super excited i <laughs> i couldn't believe it i've been wearing like hats and beanies just to hide my patches for the past four years so i was super ex excited to be able to be here the experience has been amazing i love everyone here um just basically everyone wants to make you feel beautiful and it's um, very, very empowering. So first of all, I'm definitely coming back here. And I will be referring everyone here because everyone's been so welcoming, so so nice, and I feel at home here. And me and my stylist, Mia, she was amazing. Um, we both, um, I let her kind of do what she wanted to do and give her the freedom. And I love what they executed, her and, and the makeup artist as well. It's been super fun. I've never, ever looked like this before, so it's super fun and I love Just like a cow, we're going up on the battle. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh okay. wow. wow. Make it so unbelievable. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. I feel great. I feel like, hey, I, I feel like I'm a star, you know? <laughs> I appreciate this. Yeah, Who's ever watching this, there is change possible. Okay. Only if you believe. Hey, that's all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So pretty. I feel amazing. I feel like a whole different person. Um, before this, I felt like my femininity has gone away but now I feel like I got it back. <laughs> it's been great. Mike was great, very gentle. You know, I was concerned, you know, with my scalp, but he took very care of me. The color, the body, the, listen, I came in diamond and I'm walking out Diante. You hear me? Like, <laughs> she is someone else. <laughs> Ooh, I love Learn to love your hair. Thank you. Yes, Mike. You. This is you. Thank you. Thank you.
amazing. I'm going out tonight, <laughs> like I already know, and I'm gonna look the best out of everybody in my group. <laughs> I want to go out and I'm a homebody. <laughs> but I'm a, I hope maybe I'll meet my next husband, you know, who knows. <laughs> Um, honestly, I think I would say better days come and your hair will grow back and even if it doesn't, I think that bald is beautiful. I would tell them we always have a second chance in life. Just one chance, it's not over. To just keep fighting and, you know, know that just pray God is on your side. He gives his deepest battles to his strongest warriors and you'll come through it. And, you know, hair is not everything and there's other alternatives. Like me, I have a wig, you know, and I think this wig looks better than my natural hair has ever looked. So. There's definitely alternatives if it never comes back. Um, it's, it doesn't make you. It's not you. It's, it's a part of you, but it's not you, you know. And we have so much stuff where you can be versatile and just embrace it. You know, you're beautiful no matter what. Don't let it overcome you. Like I said, it's not you. It's just something that's a part of you. Right on. I love that. What is that? I'm grateful that... This is just surreal, you know, and a lot of people take things for granted in life and just, just don't. Like, you could be having a bad hair day or no hair and just be happy with that you're here because people are not making it. And cancer awareness, please be aware, go get checked. Don't let these doctors tell you that you're too young to get a mammogram because you're not. Go and get it because the earlier it will save your life. Because cancer, every one in five women will get breast cancer in their life. So. And I'm here and I'm living and I'm fabulous, so okay. <laughs> thank there you, <laughs> blessed. <laughs> but we have to have confidence in ourselves, don't give up, be persistent. And that's what I did. There was a time that I wanted to give up, but I didn't. And I say to anyone that is hearing this testimony of mine, which is from the heart, we have a second chance. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm sending that boy to his daddy. I'm ready to be outside. I love it. You guys are great. Thank you so much, Hair Queen LA. And shout out to Winnie. Hello. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be here without my family and the support. And then you guys, I, I've almost had a meltdown like three, four times you could say, I just want to shave my head. You guys, this past Wednesday, I actually missed work because I just didn't want to get up for work. And you guys called me, so you guys honestly appreciate it. Hi, girl, hi. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being strong. We appreciate you. Got this. Yeah. <laughs>